Hello, I am Adam Edwards. I am 8th grade and I'm from Bettendorf Middle School. I'm in a first middle league team and we went to state competition with the Windy Cindy. It's an anemometer connected to this motor and the way it works is I use this controller right here. I use the, this as my input. You can see here it's cool servant right here controller and that is the way I input. Um, when I click this, this um, robot right here begins to get a signal from here and it tells it to start spinning this so it looks like there's wind around the anemometer and once this finds like it's at a certain speed it'll send a message to this robot to tell it to sound an alarm. So, I'll just show it moving. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. In here, you can see how this master brick, which is the spinner, is connected to these two servant bricks, which means that all the messages go through this brick, and these cannot communicate with each other, which it makes sense because... I'm only receiving one signal from this one, and I'm only sending one signal to the alarm. Good. Yep. And what are they using to communicate? They're using Bluetooth to communicate. Good. Okay, so to begin, this is the Windy Cindy controller. This is kind of like what you saw with the uh, controller brick that sends a message to the spinner. It uses a um, the Bluetooth with a message called Title 2. And it checks if a button is pressed on the brick of the uh, controller. And if that brick is uh, being pressed, then it sends a message with a value of true. Then here, the message is received. And it goes through a conditional statement. And then it checks the motor's rotation and then adds three to that. And then it corrects the rotation the speed with the new speed that we calculated. Afterwards, we then check how fast the motor is going, and if it is going faster than 80, it will then send a message called title with a value of true to the Windy Cindy alarm, which is right here. You can see that we received the message, and we are putting that into another conditional statement, and if that is true, then we set off the alarm. Hello, I am Adam Edwards. I am in 8th grade and I am from Bettendorf Middle School. I was in a first LEGO League robotics team and this is the Windy Cindy that we use to compete with in our project. Now, the Windy Cindy works. It's an anemometer that will be attached to your roof and when it starts spinning, it will alert you if it's going if the wind speeds are like, you know, higher than 40 miles per hour. But this is just a model that I created. Um, I use a controller, which will tell the spinner to start moving. So if I click this, and the spinner starts moving. Um, now, when the spinner starts moving, and if it's going at a certain speed, it will send a message to this alarm right here. There's a nice little diagram that I have. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, the controller is a servant to the master brick. And the alarm is also a servant, which basically means that the master brick is the only one that can communicate with both of these, while these cannot communicate with each other. So, basically, I'm sending a message to the spinner, then the spinner checks if it's going at, to, at a certain speed and sends a message to the alarm. So let's see. And that's how it works. Thank you.